The controversy of offering namaz in open spaces in Gurugram has spiraled to the extent that the Chief Minister of Haryana, ML Khattar, for the time being has stopped offering of any such prayers in the open spaces. In fact, yesterday, Muhammad Adib, who is a former Rajya Sabha MP, approached the Supreme Court asking or rather pleading that the court should take contempt of court uh, actions against the Gurgaon officials for failing to act against uh, the hooligans, quote unquote, who were stopping the Muslim community individuals from offering namaz in the pra uh, open spaces. I am joined by former Rajya Sabha MP Muhammad Adib, who has approached the Supreme Court. So I want to understand from you as to why did you approach the court that too, you know, with a plea of contempt of court uh, against the Gurgaon officials? You know, uh, for the last four or five year months, the certain people, not too much, but about 15, 20 people disturbing namaz prayer, Juma namaz prayer, by putting loudspeakers and with full volume, getting nala of Jai Sri Ram and so many things to disturb it. The police is stand by them. The namaz was, uh, we are offering on this, on this site which has been approved by the Gurgaon uh, authority. And every time I send a letter to the administration that these are the particular people who are making objectionable slogans against my community and against uh, humanity. No action has been taken by the administration at any time. Once they arrested, in the evening they are left out. And the same very people started disturbing in other places. I, when Khattar, uh, when the uh, prayer was going on in 37 places, approved by the authority itself. Then they reduced it to 20, which we accepted it, because we cannot do anything without the permission of the administration. Last week, uh, uh, Chief Minister announced, no, we cannot tolerate anything. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, because two months before, he openly said that the namaz on the open places allotted by the authority will continue till this permanent solution sorted out. Mm. So we are very confident. We encourage the chief minister's remark also. But all of a sudden, on the last Friday, he said, all places, permission, permission all places is withdrawn. withdrawn. And in the meantime, we requested the police authority and administration Please do something because they are going to disturb this global city. So many people are coming on across. And you know, Gurgaon is a place where the multinational companies are from all over the world. And people started writing in different countries what is happening in India. Mm. So I approached the court because the court has given a judgment in, uh, in 2018, Justice Misra's judgment that it is the responsibility of the police and administration to see that no disturbance will be done. And these particular people, we have given all their videos, their statement, and they openly said, we will not allow. Mm -hmm. So we filed a case, this is a contempt against the administration because there is a particular ruling by the Supreme Court, nobody will be allowed. Suppose, so, if, if the sure. people say, that the Muslims were offering in open space. If they were offering open space without permission, police should have arrested the Muslims also. They have not arrested Muslims because they have already given a permission to perform namaz. Mm. So neither they have asked Muslims to go away, neither they took any actions against the mischief people, which we can say that they are the Atangwadi people. They wanted to disturb the atmosphere of this city. That is why I went to the Supreme Court. So, uh, is your plea also seeking action against uh, the Hindu right-wing fringe groups who are, you know, uh, who has been who have been continuously stopping uh, the Muslim community from offering namaz in open spaces? Yes, I. I this is what I have. have uh, you know, uh, I feel regret to say that I requested the DC also. And personally went there, I said, why you are not taking action? 
देन इन द लास्ट आई रोट ए लेटर टू द कमिश्नर ऑफ पुलिस कि वाई यू आर नॉट अरेस्टिंग और टेकिंग एक्शन अगेन द पीपल हु आर डिस्टर्बिंग हु आर अब्यूजिंग अस प्रोवोकिंग मुस्लिम्स टू रिवोल्ट एंड इफ समथिंग हैपन इज 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 वेरी बैड फॉर दिस कंट्री एंड दिस सोसाइटी ऑल्सो नो एक्शन हैज बीन आई हैव रिटर्न टू द कमिश्नर ऑल्सो सिंस यू हैव अलाउड on a certain place that we can perform namaz how trucks and cars has been put on that particular place when there is a spot where we offer namaz where the gobar and you know cow dung has, has been stored mm. it is in the knowledge of the police mm. and administration so is a total lapse of the administration if these 15 20 are people saying, are you saying that uh, all these fringe groups are working in tandem with the police forces if the police has taken action i am sure police is the boss and police can take an administration can take any decision individual cannot say that i will do it and the openly they said i will not allow to have namaz by muslims mm. it is not a police it is not administration the individual people are openly saying to the television and media people mm. that we will not allow and that is happening is there a political backing that you are indicating of course of course they are all all hundas they are they are the people who are making problem everywhere and the only purpose is to disturb the thing get the advantage the polarization get the advantage of polarization in uttar pradesh election so how long we can suffer all this all this is being done to polarize environment for the up of elections course, of course this government has got nothing to say they have ruined this country the boys are unemployed inflation has gone the record and uh, farmers are on the road nobody is happy country is in a worse phase of its life so what they will say only hindu muslim this is what they are doing it two quick questions sir uh, uh number one you know uh, you also represent the muslim community in gurgaon uh, the gurgaon muslim council you are part of it uh, why did the muslim community leaders appeal to the uh, you know individuals of the community to not go out and offer uh, prayers in open spaces today why was that decision taken i think i think i have personally appeal to each and everybody hmm. please don't go unless and until there is a permission and and i feel i'm sure nobody has given any offer i don't know but in my people have decided we will offer namaz only when it is given permission and unfortunately the 20 places the 37 was permission was given even 37 were disturbed 44 were disturbed so these are the places which has already been reduced from 37 to 20 mm. even that places they have started uh, making uh, problem okay. and nobody and through your channel also mm. we have appeal every muslim don't give any chance to these people to make the atmosphere very disturbing okay. because we feel that any place when there is a permission you go there if there is no permission because the juma pair cannot offered at home hmm. we pray 30 35 times in a week hmm. but juma pair is has got a sermon a molvi has to give sermon so it cannot be offered in house or any isolated place it has to be a group of people where the, every week the molvi the imam hmm. give sermon this is part of our religion okay. so that is why since there is no mosque there is no masjid and people are more than the masjid so they have to go somewhere where a imam can give sermon and then offer namaz so are you also seeking land for construction of mosque in gurgaon to end this controversy for for in the longer run yes. we are we are trying for so many hard so many years to get it even very very recently about two months back there was an advertisement that a space is available for the religious place we applied on behalf of the indian uh, gurgaon muslims we deposited 20 lakhs rupees as it as a earnest money of 10% to total 
value was, uh, was about two, two crores. Mm -hmm. There was an interview. In interview, the admission asked how much, where, how much money you have. Mm -hmm. So we shown them the bank account. The rest 25%, 40 lakhs is already in the bank. The moment you alert, we will give it to you. Mm -hmm. And we were very sure because of this problem, administration will give a chance to us to buy a land. Mm. And it was given to Jain Mandir, the 20 lakhs rupees was refunded. Okay. And in 113 sectors, which has been developed by this township, mm. not a single inch land has been given to the Muslims. For mosque? From here. Okay. So we are going now, after this, we are going to Haryana High Court, mm. and we'll ask from the court that the the uh, yes, we are going to file of court because we have no faith on any political party. Mm -hmm. We don't want to politicize all these things mm -hmm. because every party is interested in winning the election. No party is interested to give the strength to this country. Okay. So that was Mr. Adib, Muhammad Adib, uh, former MP of the Rajya Sabha, who is also part of the Gurgaon Muslim Council, you know, and he's clearly indicating that now the Gurgaon Namaz controversy is spiraling into a legal battle at two fronts. One in the Supreme Court seeking a contempt of court action against the Gurgaon officials for not acting against uh, the uh, right-wing uh, right -wing Hindu fringe groups, as well as uh, they would be approaching the Chandigarh High Court for allotment of land uh, for construction of mosque in Gurgaon with video journalist Ankit Khandelwal. This is Amit Bhardwaj for India Today from Gurgaon.